Hey guys, we're back. It's me, Corey. And we're talking about the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And we're looking specifically at a John 14 through 16 because Jesus took great lengths and great pains to lay out in detail the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Let's just look right here. I want you to turn in your Bibles to John 14, verse 16. It's all about the whole theme of this whole night is Jesus is making clear to us and his disciples that we're not alone and that he is going to bring us up into the Father's house, that there's no amount of our own religious zeal, no ability of our own to get into the Father's house, but that Jesus is going to come bring us into the Father's house. Beloved, and that is why the Holy Spirit is so glorious, is that he has poured out his Spirit within us, thereby bringing us into union with himself. I just want to read through some verses in John 14, 16, and highlight some of the things that Jesus highlighted. Look at this. John 14, 16, Jesus says, I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper. All right? Another helper. You can use the word comforter. The Greek word is paraklete or parakletos, and he's actually called the helper. <laughs> I, I know this is a deep revelation for you, but for Jesus to send a helper, it takes revelation, and he understands how much help you would need. I think one of the greatest foundations to growing in intimacy with Holy Spirit is the revelation of how much help I need and how much help you need every day, every moment, for every situation. That there is nothing that I can do. John 15, he highlights it. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And Jesus says, guys, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to send you the helper. He says, I'm going to give you another helper, look at this, that he may abide with you forever. I mean, think about this. The Holy Spirit is going to live on the inside of you forever. In a million years, Holy Spirit will still be living on the inside of you. The Holy Spirit is not a band-aid until Jesus comes back, but forever you will relate with and commune with Jesus via the indwelling Holy Spirit. You will commune with Him through the Holy Spirit. Many of us just think of a little bit of time. He will abide with you forever. He is your eternal companion. He is your eternal friend. And I want to urgently call you and to develop friendship with Him in this season. Jesus continues and He says that He calls Him the Spirit of Truth. Jesus in John 14, 6 says, I'm the truth. And now He's sending the Holy Spirit, who is truth, to come in on the inside of us and to make us true. The purpose of the Holy Spirit is so that we would become true and that we would be conformed into the image of truth Himself, Jesus Christ. He says, the spirit of truth is coming. The world cannot receive him because it neither sees him nor knows him. He says, but you know him. For he's going to dwell with you and he will be in you. Jesus goes, I will not leave you orphans. For those three days, they were left as orphans. They were all alone. They were afraid. They were scared. And Jesus says, there's going to be three days to where the floor is taken out and you're going to be alone. But I'm here to tell you, I am the everlasting father. And I am going to come back to you. And through the Holy Spirit, I'm going to bring you up into the Father's house. And I'm going to receive you to myself. And I will bring about that spirit of adoption and bring you into the family. Beloved, I want you to know right now, the very fact that the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you is the revelation of the Father's heart towards you. You're not an orphan. If you've given your life to Jesus, you are not an orphan. You are not illegitimate, but that you are a son of the King. You are a son of the beloved Father, and you're in the Father's house via Holy Spirit. I love it, I love it, I love it. Jesus goes, a little while longer, and the world will not see me. He says this, but you will see me. And he says, because I live, you will also live. I want to tell you right now that right now by the Holy Spirit, you and I can see Jesus. You and I, with the eyes of our faith, that Ephesians 1, that your eyes would be open, that you can see Jesus via Holy Spirit and the Word of God. You can see Him, you can encounter Him, and that is what the world cannot encounter, is that we can see Him. Hallelujah. Jesus says, He says, At that day you will know that I'm in my Father, and you're in me, and I'm in you. Right now we have union within the Godhead. <laughs> that the Father is in Jesus, we're in Jesus, and Jesus is in us. Beloved, what privilege have we been given? I like to think of we've been called into the exclusive club. We've been called into that exclusive club of privileges and intimacy within the Father and the Son. There's so many things. I'm just highlighting a couple things out of John 14, and we're going to keep building on this. I want to take my time as we 
uh, uh, gaze and, and, and think about the person in the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Well, I bless you and I'll see you soon.